tropical cyclone is expected to develop off the northwest Kimberley coast on Thursday. The Pilbara coast can expect gales from later Friday and a severe cyclone impact is possible on Saturday. A cyclone watch has been declared for Woodeye to Onslow, including Port Headland, Kawartha, Dampier and Onslow. The tropical rays sustain winds in the centre of 35 km per hour from a wind gust to 85 km an hour. Located within 45 km at 16 decimal 5 degrees south, 122 decimal 2 degrees east. It's about 100 km north northwest of Derby and 190 km north northeast of Broome. The current movement is rest at 14 km an hour. Those forecasts to move to the rest of the northwest Kimberley coast tonight and develop into a tropical cyclone on Thursday during Friday. The cyclone is forecast to turn towards the Pilbara coast and intensify before reaching the coast on a Saturday. Gales are forecast to develop along the Pilbara coast between Woodeye Downs and Dampier, including Port Hedland during Friday, possibly extending rest to Onslow overnight Friday. Destructive winds with wind gusts to 150 km an hour may develop overnight Friday night. As the cyclone approaches the coast, increasing further on Saturday near the cyclone centre. Abnormally high tides could cause serious flooding at the coast between Dampier and Woodeye on Saturday. Heavy rain is likely to cause flooding also in the Pilbara region as the cyclone moves inland over the weekend. Bureau Meteorology's Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre has in place a flood watch. Well, here's a look at the GFS accumulated precipitation. It's from 10 a.m. Uh, today through to about 2200 hours from our information is at the bottom of the screen. Each of these images are free hourly blocks and it also has the pressure in the white lettering inside the black box. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has issued a tropical cyclone formation alert. They have the tropical low or invest 92S about 100 nautical miles north northeast of Broome. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery and a 91 gigahertz microwave image shows banding wrapping into a defined low level circulation centre currently placed over land with flaring convection. The continuing improving structure evident in the animated imagery reflects steady consolidation as the vest has begun to track over water. A ASCAT pass showed winds 25 to 30 knots wrapping towards the Low level circulation centre from off the northern coast of Australia. 92S is expected to rapidly develop as it continues to track generally westward through a region of very warm 30 to 32 Celsius sea surface temperature and low 10 to 15 knots vertical wind shear improving diffluence aloft. Global models continue to agree on the west-southwest track over the next 48 hours. Maximum sustained surface winds are estimated at 25 to 30 knots. Minimum sea level pressure is estimated to be around 
1004 millibars and the center has the potential for development of a significant tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours as being high. The 850 millibar vorticity, the vorticity is strengthening and here's a couple of uh, models on the tropical low and once it reaches cyclone status it will have the name of a Damien. We will continue to bring the uh, latest uh, information and here on the east coast of Australia the Bureau of Meteorology has a reduced flood watch for the area south of Caboolture, north of Brisbane to the New South Wales Queensland border New South Wales Bureau of Meteorology Office has issued a flood watch also. The GFS accumulated precipitation. This is an updated position. And look at that area in yellow and dark brown. And the tropical cyclone formation probability guide. We still have Invest 91P. And we're also keeping an eye on that one. Bureau of Meteorology is also saying uh, it could be deepening over the weekend. And here's another look at the Bureau's total forecast of rain. And the rainfall scales the right hand side of the screen. And again, look at that area south of Fraser Island, right down to Newcastle, and it is tracking south. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can check us out on all of our outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube, keyword 413. You're probably there already, good chance of that. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword 413, where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well. And we're on Twitter, keyword 413. And if you want to rock our colors like Nathan Foy here, you can go to our store available at store.force13.com or you can contribute to the project directly by way of the Patreon. More information about patronage and the privilege you can get from patronage can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13 and you can reach out to us on Skype at force13 or to me directly on Discord at trin extension 1375 or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash force13.